Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Le Plata. So everyone, today what we are going to be doing is a kind of more uh, pseudo-esque episode. Where I am thinking, I think I'm going to go after Venezuela. I'm pretty sure our truce has not ended yet, so it's going to end here very, very soon, I should say. And once that truce is done, we are going to attack Venezuela, finally put them underneath our sphere of influence, and officially have our name stretch all the way from over here to all the way down here. And basically own everything on the eastern coastline of South America. Well, actually, western coastline, because this is the western. That's east, that's west. Okay, so let's begin, everyone. And let's see. Well, in terms of our economy, it's going to collapse like usual. A um, couple things to note is that I'm probably going to collapse some of these factories, like the small arms factory in Bolivias. Um, As much as I like to support factories of you know, of any kind of age, it really, I'm not going to support a factory that's costing me this much. So like the Burl Rios factory, collapse this and it'll give me a little bit more money. And as we can see, we suddenly got 6,000 bucks now in the bank. Now 2,000, now 1,000. What the hell is going on with our economy? Like, is it just like guess the economy day? Like, okay, everyone, we're going to give out numbers for the economy. Today is going to be 200, tomorrow is going to be 300, tomorrow is going to be negative 300, next we're going to 300, next we're going to 200. Oh, we got new 200 in the background, we got 200 in the background, now we got 300, 300, 200 in the background, 300, 200, oh, we the guy in the back one to the 200, 200 mark in the background, you still have one of we, Kamado, Kamado, eh, Kamado, Kamado, damn, I don't know what that car is called, maybe one of you guys know in the comment section what I was trying to say, but I don't quite remember, so I can't quite help you guys out either, so if you guys try to ask me what it was, I won't quite know, but I'll try to help you, so, Anyways, right now what we are going to be doing is we're going to be looking at everything. Finally finish up Massive Politics. Yeah, we're going to be finishing up Massive Politics. Because I'd like to get that last little uh, national foci. That way I can just increase immigration by a lot. Because as you guys can see, I am like heavily immigrated country. What? Did, hey, do we have our Irish back? Do we have our Irish back? Ah, uh, we still don't have the Irish back. Man, that was... That was a great time of our country when we just had like 15% of Irish. Ah, uh, great. I mean, it was like during the early days and we didn't have as big of stuff as we did and stuff was a little bit more free and a lot more stuff happened back in those days, but it was still a good time. Good time. And right now we're building up a new army. I'm guessing because I remember, I remember this very clearly is that we lost one of our armies when we tried to cross the Great Atlantic Sea. Yay! We get oil! Oi! We get oil. Okay, so, does that mean, let me see, I can usually find the oil deposits when it's over here, there we go. So let's see, where do we find our oil? Where's our oil in our country? Oh, cool, we got a little bit of oil right down here. So if we build a little refinery down here, we can definitely start importing oil, exporting it, and becoming maybe a major producer of it. You know, that would not be bad. Also, we could also, let's see, this is our kind of little sub... Uh, you know, this is basically our province, and, you know, we could probably convert this into an actual state if we wanted to, and then maybe use that to try to gain the rest of this into an actual, wait, to an actual state. Hmm. I'll be thinking about that in the future, but anyways, continuing on with our daily lessons of what the heck is going on with economy. Economy going between really bad to really, oh my goodness, you guys are all, wow. Okay, so the charcoal factory, the late... Arms Choco Factory definitely has to be closed down because that's that may be hurting us just a little bit too much. Yeah, it doesn't doesn't really do that much for us. So yeah, I usually accept small arm factories, but that's just like oh my goodness, I'm losing like a ton of men right there. But anyways, besides small factories just slowly collapsing and costing us a hell of time to keep up, we're building up an economic powerhouse. We have 613 people. Um, right now, well, 613 score, a power ranking right now in terms of military, not very high because we had an army that just literally vanished off the face of the earth, so, yeah, we'll call it the, we'll call it the, uh, Pacific, the Pacific Bermuda Incident. I know Bermuda's over here, don't you dare correct me in the, in the comment section, but it's gonna be called the Bermuda pa Pacific Incident, okay? And the Platine Recession, ah, well, huh. I, I'm pretty mad. Well, okay, so that apparently just fixed our economic woes. We are now in a recession, and there's an excellent mechanization at the same time. 30% more people go to citizenship. 
A population, I really do like, I don't know why, I really do like looking at the population. And let's see. We gotta start thinking of great wars now. Because I do want to start taking some of these African colonies from these other Europeans. Especially the Dutch. The Deutsch. Because the Dutch have... Oh my goodness, when did Scandinavia form? You know... I, I would like to comment that that's really not a common thing in my Let's Plays, but it happens a lot. Oh, and so, yeah, it's also a great power, too. Hmm. Hey, Scandinavia, you want to be buddies? You know, why, why don't we be buddies? I mean, we don't have to be enemies, but we can be buddies. Okay, and let's see. We got more people coming in. Uh, we got eyeing stuff. We got, let's see. We are more... We are trying to be communists, so I guess we're free trade? Yeah, our country's very much a flippity floppity. We don't really quite know what we like, but we kind of just go with the flow. Okay, I think we finished up this army. Um, Balance-wise, this army's pretty terrible. So let's see, we have to build a little bit more... Basically, to fix that, we're going to have to build a little bit more cannons. And as you can see, we already can start building up our new infantry and start putting up new armies in our colonial lands, which I think I might start doing. Let's see, we already have a good spot to be making over here. So, yeah, let's make a colonial army. So, one, two, wait, wait, it's probably going to have to be pretty small because we don't want to, you know, exhaust the thing. So, four, and then build about two of these guys. Uh, let's see, three, four, right, and then one, and then two. Okay, that'll be our kind of small, little, tiny colonial army. But with that, it makes us go slowly more and more powerful because we are slowly building up to a really cool, well, basically we're becoming like a powerful piece, a powerful country with just being ourselves. We also have the United States to help us out whenever we need help, but eh, we don't mention that. <laughs> uh, speaking of which, are we still upgrade? We're still trying to get these guys to be all happy dandy. And like I said, I don't believe. Actually, they could still become a great power. Wow. Uh, is there anyone I can invest in that I would know would never become a great power? Uh, you know, I could actually try to invest into Spain. Spain might be a nice little investment. Plus, let's see, in terms of like, hmm. It's mostly these countries right here that have not been upgraded because I don't think anyone really likes Turkey right now. Uh, sorry, people, sorry, people. I'm just trying to think of out loud what I should try to do for in terms of upgrading and trying to do all that kind of stuff. Who should we try to sphere next? Who should we try to go to war next? It's all a big complex thing, but definitely I think the next war is definitely going to get Venezuela. No one likes him right now, which makes it really easy to just go in and go take all of Venezuela. Finally annex them. Well, not really annex them. Yes, we shall attend the Olympic, the fourth Olympic Games. But basically, put them underneath our sphere. Have them become a part of us. And then after that, what we could go do is go also beat up on Brazil too. Because our two major pastimes are basically producing lots of industry, dealing with lots of immigration, and beating up on Brazil. Those are basically all the things we do as La Plata over here. So, after this, what region would I want to take? Hmm, this is actually kind of... I think I'd probably take the uh, Paula, or the Paula region. That way, not only do I have now access to the... Um, French lands, just in case if we ever have to fight the French. But that means that we can instantly, like, you know. But well, we actually have the original Amazonians, which is going to be kind of awesome to own. Especially when our name's, like, all the way across here, so that's going to be awesome. And let's see, mass politics. Eh, we're almost done with that. And, yeah, we're just, we're just kind of casually taking down everything. Just kind of casually. Also, I guess now that I'm a little bit more advanced... Um, I guess we, we have enough money, don't we? Yes. I'm going to basically upgrade every single one of these factories and turn, so I'll be right back. Okay, we are back, and I just did that, and it was actually pretty quickly. And here are Safari. So right now, guys, I think this is just basically, this is a reflection of beautifully, beautifully on us. Because we want to make sure that we are looking very good to all the other Europeans, and they know our wrath. And do we want to gain one life rating or all capitalists? I don't really care about my capitalists. In fact, how many capitalists do I have in total in my country? Whoa, we have a lot more capitalists than I thought. Hmm. Maybe that was a bad decision. Maybe. But, eh. 
Capitalism can't really do that much to me, so... <laughs> well, I should say, bring it on, capitalists. Bring it on. If you want to do a SmackDown, I don't think you guys will win, but I would gladly love to take that to bet. So, let's see. We can now officially, in two more months, in one more month, literally, we can now officially start fabricating claims on Venezuela, get them underneath our boots, and we're going to casually uh, get a justification, make a puppet... Once they're underneath our boot, then that basically means that we now have a good army, may I say, around me. And then what we're also going to do... I don't really care, just everyone kill me. And we now get another... We now get another state administration or national value. There we go, people. <sighs> you know it's the first recording session when I'm starting to mess up words like national value and state and administration. But anyways, what I'm going to be focusing on is I'm actually going to be trying to increase this over here. Why? Because I'm going to try to make that an actual state so that we could actually use it for uh, better purposes. Now, let's see, let's get our values mixed up and let's start upgrading our navy for our naval regions. Because our naval regions are quite important to our colonial powers. I mean, especially if we want to just spam... It, I, could, I could do the massive spamming of dreadnoughts at the very end of the game. I mean, it's a good... it's a general good idea, but... Uh, I just need a bigger fleet, honestly. That's honestly what I need. I need a bigger fleet so that we aren't always defeated by other people. Let's see. And Oh, shoot. I completely forgot about my colonial lands. How did I forget about you guys? I'm usually very good at like protecting my colonial lands. Huh. Okay. Boom, boom. Okay. There we go. Wow. I feel really bad because I just like... <laughs> I could have just left Platine Ni Nigeria just all by itself over there. You know, surrounded by all these bigger European countries. I mean, I won't deny, like, we're the only, like, little tiny European power over here. We just, I mean, we, you kind of expect Britain to be over here. You kind of expect the French to be over here and the Germans and all these kind of guys. And you do kind of, maybe the Dutch here and there, but you don't usually expect Le Plata to be over here, you know, colonializing. So we're just kind of the new colonial power. And we just kind of snatch this little region and we're like, yeah, this is ours. And the flaws of democracy. Yeah. More consciousness and more prestige. Both things I love very much. Uh, that's a joke, people. Don't you dare quote me on any of that. Okay. Kaboom. And let's see. We are taxing our people. Let's see if we can now get to 50% taxes. I want... I really just want my people to owe me only about 50... Oh my goodness, you guys are going to tax... You guys are going to kill me. Okay. If I collapse a boot factory in Paraguay, I should be able to do it. So, uh, Balo boot factory. Ooh, wow, this was a pretty good boot factory, too. Hmm. Kind of feel bad for collapsing this boot factory, but, you know, we kind of need, we kind of, I would kind of like to keep our economy just a little bit good. And I kind of want to keep, like, making people happy of us, so... Yeah. By the way, did we just go to the new era? So that means I have to do uh, more stuff. E we could do that now. Now yeah, let's do let's do time saving measures. Everyone must have standardized time because standardized time is one of the best adventures humanity could have ever gone to. Unless you try to go into the American system, which is the twelve hour system, which heck does not make any sense if you really think about it. Okay, and the upper house has been rearranged. Let's see. We have the Fascist Party and the Games of the Olympics of the Fort Imperial. We have one polarity and we got more prestige. Okay, but let's see. Let's see how our upper house is being arranged. So, apparently we now have fascists back in our country. The socialists... Oh my goodness. How do people get along in my country? I seriously don't know. I mean, this is all really divided. <laughs> like, I'm looking at this pie chart and it's just like... We got some fascists, we got some social liberals, we got some liberals, we got some communists, we got some conservatives. I mean, literally no one... How do you even... This must be one of the most, like, politically backstabbing policies I've ever had in my life. Alright. And let's see, Brazil is, of course, owned by France. Who France is gonna be, like, all like, Yeah, I'm gonna totally take you guys on. And I'm gonna be like, uh, France? No, 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 no. Hey, do they own my little sphere over here, too? Hmm. Yeah, they they think that they can own my little sphere of the Philippines. They're mine. Don't you, don't you, don't you other Europeans dare mess with my little sphere of the Philippines. They're mine. 
And let's see, so France will probably join in. Again, France should not be that difficult of an enemy to deal with because... Humiliate? I have a humiliate causes Belli. Doesn't really give me that much. I won't... I don't believe I'm going to use it, but... Hmm. Actually, now thinking about it, if I don't... I think I'm just going to have to do a war for... Um, I think I'm just going to have to do a war for... Uh, puppeteering, vassalizing Venezuela, and then go attack the Brazilians after that, because just in case if the mighty French nation becomes, like, the war leader, I don't want them to be, like, not giving me this this region again, just because I have another region I want over here. So, that's going to be my, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to declare war, get all my allies who love me and will support me in these times of needs. Let's see, Colombia... I know you guys will join in because you guys have no free will. Peru, I know you guys will join in too. And with all you guys joined in, we'll just casually go invade Brazil. Brazil, you guys did not join in. Wow. Wow, you guys just let these guys just be... Oh my goodness, that's... That's kind of shocking because I will, at least you would have thought to fight through the rest of this. Oh my goodness. Also, in my home country... I can't build anything yet because a lot of my country is still kind of recovering. Okay, the Panama Dividends. And Canada is still being, we're still being kicked out of Canada. Um, I don't know if I'm going to make any headway on Canada because Canada, for one, might actually become a great power again. I'm kind of not getting a lot of power from them, so... I'm going to go after other people that I believe I could probably get much more easily. Like, I think the Netherlands would probably be a much better... Hmm. Oh, wait. We were deciding on Spain. That's who I was going after. Spain would probably be a much better, like, person. Because they're obviously not going to become a great power anymore. Canada has the potential to actually become a great power. So that's the reason why I don't want to keep influencing them. So let's just go after our good old friends, the uh, Spanish. And hey... Won't that be insanely ironic if La Plata sphered the Spanish? Just saying. Just saying. And let's see. We have an entirely big armies of all these big gigantic people. You're going to form an alliance with me, Ecuador. And you're going to go fight the war against the, Venice, the Venezuelans. Why? Because I just basically want everyone to go in a war against Venezuela. I mean, this is already like the ultimate, like... I mean, I have America on my side. I have basically, let's, let's think about this, it's both America and the, the La Plata, the two biggest people on the entire continent, teaming up to go kick, go kick the butt out of Venezuela. I mean, this is like the ultimate nightmare for almost anyone in this country. Uh, let's see, we are growing at an exponential rate and all these other countries where I'm encouraging immigration is going fine, which is good. Um, in terms of factories, I'm not sure if my, if my capitalists have done this in a while, but we need to upgrade all of our factories we actually do have a fuel refinery that's good and a locomotive industry wow okay guys we are already starting to become pretty advanced people and i'm actually not going to upgrade very much more i try to not upgrade factories that don't that don't have a lot to offer to my industry but you know sometimes it's those factories you just can't find you just can't see and they just kind of build and apparently I will have to be going here soon so I want to thank you guys for watching this episode is going to be cut a little bit short today thank you guys for watching see you guys next time